Hello and welcome to the second part of the Laserist database video tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to use the results of the query in a program and to do other types of queries. First I am going to show you how you can use the records from a select query in your program. I made a simple loop in this program to run through the records pick one of the resulting records and display it with show message. This performed using the MySQL connection. Here it is. Uh, it's uh, using a form key press event from the form. So when I press the one of the keys on the keyboard it's gonna run this procedure and it's first gonna check if it's a number you pressed. So it's uh, 0 to 9. Then it's going to display the number of the key. And then the query is made active. The query is uh, directed to the first record. And then in the loop it's going to do 1000 times the number you put in. So if you put in a 0 you get no uh, it's not going to run through the uh, to the query if you do uh, one you, it's going to run through thousand uh, records then <coughs> um, if we hit the bottom and we get this message shall we hit the bottom of the table and otherwise it's going to display the field uh, value of the current record so uh, and you can do that by using this uh, construction the query component field by name the field name and then dot a string when your field is numeric for example you can use as number uh, and you get a number returned and you can also use as a string and then you get a string returned and you've got some uh, conversions for other types of fields like dates and booleans so you can uh, use as boolean or as date for that type of fields and then we make the query false again okay let's run this it's compiling successful okay if i also made some uh, nice colors on it um so when i and press the number 0 you get a 48 key value and it's going to go to the first record of the test app uh, and it's displaying this uh, value now I'm gonna the first now it's running through 1000 records and then it's coming here at record 1001 not a little test down to okay number two to that one three okay four okay the table only contains uh, three thousand uh, one records so we're running at the bottom of the table okay so far for this part of the program so <coughs> this is just uh, the way to uh, get uh, the value from a field from the current record now we're going to uh, do the other queries like delete queries, uh, insert and update queries. Um, I'm first gonna show you this uh, construction. Um, this is timer. I'm going to um, start a timer and then this panel gets red and the uh, then it's, uh, after it runs. Uh, into uh, the time it's 10 seconds run uh, 10 seconds then it's gonna make this panel red 
and finally it's gonna make um, both cannot, cannot panels um, dark red again okay um, during that time uh, I'm going to use uh, the components to insert and update uh, records here's the the code first thing is this local procedure launch query that is to wrap up uh, the, the queries uh, the execution of the query including the start and commitment of a transaction so it's gonna do a start transaction on the SQL transaction uh, object then it's gonna do clear on the SQL text of this SQL query and then it's gonna execute the uh, it's gonna add the new uh, query text and it's gonna execute it on this and then it's gonna commit the transaction on this object first thing I'm gonna do when I push the button I'm going to, uh, this is my stop uh, boolean um, I'm going to delete all the records from the Firebird table and with this query delete from test tab and it's just um, do a launch query of query 1 on query 1, transaction 1 with strsql that's this, delete from test tab next I'm going to do the exactly the same on the MySQL uh, components so both tables are empty then I'm going to start this loop this loop is looking for full stop and within this loop, this loop it's looking for panel F <coughs> that's this panel if it's red it means uh, it lights up um, it's going to do this part of the loop if it's dark it's going then this one is automatically lighted and it's going to do this part of the loop the loop uh, itself is um, it's going to insert into the table records with the number and the text and um, the number is uh, incremented all the time so it's gonna run it's gonna insert uh, records and then in this second part of the loop it's gonna do this first and then it's gonna right away do that it's gonna find back the previous record it's int f minus one and it's gonna update it and set the uh, the text to another little test and then the current number so the the uh, first it's gonna insert a record then it's gonna find back the previous inserted record and that is going to be updated in this one okay and then it's gonna do that while panel F is red and while it's not red so panel M is red it's gonna do this query it's exactly the same except that it's doing it for the uh, MySQL components okay let's run this start a test so this is the number of loops fibers uh, executed 1700 
this is the loop, uh, the number of loops uh, MySQL executed, 2939. Here are the tables themselves. You can see the number is correct. So MySQL has had, had much more records. Now I'm going to stop this. Okay. I'm going to change now from my uh, current host to localhost. local host through okay run it again Compiling, linking built and showing start <coughs> Okay, so on my localhost, Firebird does 3524 and MySQL does 2070. So if you're um, executing your um, database on the same as your application, Firebird is much faster and if you do it via the network MySQL is much faster that's a neat uh, result of our test ok um, ok that wraps up this tutorial uh, thank you for your attention